Now that we're at the exchanger, we're gonna brush out any of these tubes. First thing you wanna do is make sure you have your air supply connected to the pistol drill. One thing to be cautious of is that these brushes can actually remove some of the wall of your tubes. So when you're cleaning them out, you'll notice I'm only gonna go in and out about three to five times. Now that we have identified the tube that we're going to be brushing, venting, and then plugging, first thing you want to do is insert the brush into the ID of the tube. You want to make sure you hold the pistol drill and brush as parallel as possible to the tube so you do not break the brush off in the ID of the tube. Next, you're going to push down on the trigger and like I mentioned earlier, go in and out of the tube three to five times to make sure that it's properly clean. After that, you will remove your finger from the trigger Pull the brush outside the ID of the tube and check for cleaning. After you have identified the tube that you're going to be plugging, whether it's with a hammer driven plug or a snapper plug, USA always recommends to use one of the USA Industries one rev cutters to vent or pierce the tube. One thing these cutters have are depth stops. Depth stops are used to make sure that you go a uh, safe distance past the tube sheet, not cutting into the tube sheet. We recommend anywhere from two to four inches past the tube sheet. First step is you're going to insert the one rev cutter into the ID of the tube. After you've inserted into the ID of the tube, you will then take your wrench, put on the back side of the one rev cutter, and turn it until you feel it bite. Once you feel it bite, you will then do a quarter turn. Quarter turn is used for venting or piercing. You can also do a full revolution if you wish to remove the tube. After you have vented and pierced the tube, you will then turn the one rev cutter counterclockwise to remove the bit from the incision and then pull it out of the ID of the tube. Now you're ready to install the snap it plug.